everybody, welcome to Katie in the Morning and welcome to Friday. One week from today is Black Friday. I hope you guys all got your box and gloves out and your wallet and your back pocket and ready to go. Uh, yesterday on Katie in the Morning, we talked about how to level up on your professionalism. Today, I wanna talk about kind of the flip side of that and that is having fun at work. A uh, professional does not have to be boring. So I was gonna bring you guys some ideas on how you can have fun at work and still keep that professionalism intact. Uh, the first thing that I want to bring to you guys is that fun committees are on the rise. Fun committees are a volunteer program that execute fun in the workplace, workplace at a professional level. Uh, the, the Diakonos Group, for example, uh, down in Oklahoma has a fun committee at majority of their homes and assisted living facilities. Uh, what they do is they plan like the parties, they plan some of the fundraisers for the CNAs to attend events like CNA Fest. Um, and they just kind of bring that bubbly into the day. You know, <clears throat> they're the ones that are wearing the funny hats and dropping down the hallways with the noise going, the noisemakers going. Um, and just, you know, just having that, that, that moment of fun can really brighten somebody's day. Uh, not just the residents, but but workers as well, uh, laborers, whatever you want to call us, CNAs and caregivers especially. We have a very, very heavy workload majority of our days, and we can get so used to falling into that routine that we forget to make light of it sometimes. Um, another thing you want to think about when it comes to having fun in the workplace is, you know, those funny Laffy Taffy jokes, those come in handy, um, just kind of putting a little sugar on top of everything. Uh, they're all clean because they're on children's wrappers. Some of them are so dumb, they're hilarious. And some of them just, you know, this put that little, little twinkle back in their eye. So these, the people that we're caring for now came from a generation where it was okay to talk to each other. It was okay to have a little fun. Um, they worked hard. They played hard. You know, they just kind of had that balance. And once they get into the, the care facility, whether it's home health care, assisted living, even hospice, you know, they're in a severe, um, kind of decline in their health, but that doesn't mean that they still don't have a sense of humor. So just heck, you know, even the tone of your voice can help to lift a situation or lift somebody's day. And that smile, don't forget about that smile. It can go a very, very long, long way. Um, so those are just some things to think about in, when it comes to kind of lightening up somebody's day. Uh, another big point of what I wanted to bring to you guys is to not hold grudges. Not only does it damper your day, but it puts you in just kind of a funk and, you know, even we have that one person, everybody has that one person that we work with that is just constantly telling everybody something that happened that they can't get over. You know, so-and-so said this to me this morning when she was leaving shift, someone so and said, you know, and they just tell everybody upon everybody upon everybody that they see during that shift or during their day. And they just constantly complain about it. And it really just brings everybody down to the point where you don't even want to be around them. So please, please, please try not to hold grudges. Just let it, you know, let it fly, let it go. It's healthier for you. And it definitely makes a healthier environment that you're in. And then the last thing I wanted to bring to you guys today, when it comes to, um, the just kind of things that you can do is definitely don't forget about music. Music is a natural stimulant. Um, it's a way for people to connect without even any words, just that beat. It goes back upon ages, upon ages, upon ages in the human race. Um, it's a lot of time, a lot of places use music therapy in dementia care, memory care. Uh, if you've ever been to a memory care unit and have worked in there, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. They may not remember your name. They don't know where you're at. They don't know where they're at. They don't know what they ate for breakfast. But the minute you put like that 50s music on, they know every single word to every single song, especially during the holidays. If you think about it, those Christmas carols, uh, they might, they may not be able to remember, you know, what, what they wore this morning as compared to this afternoon, but they can tell you every single word in the song Noel. So that's just something to think about during those holiday seasons. Um, and in working period, you know, keep, keep it light, keep it happy and just keep it going. Uh, it'll definitely impact everybody around you in a positive way. I thank you guys all for joining me today and I will see you back here on Monday for Katie in the morning.